Hello my soccer universe to another collection video for this international break and I want to start off with a fun fact. Uh, in the last international break I decided, okay, uh, according to my records, I have not shown you any of my Argentina shirt churches or not many. And so I decided, yeah, let's start out with this one. Only that I found out just a few days ago that I had already done this one. So there are two videos for this shirt out there. I have not even watched them back. I'm probably telling the same story, but yeah. It's more art, art, Argentina uh, in this one. Before we go a little bit further, of course, I'm wearing, I decided since it will be in a weight jersey, I have to wear a kind, kind of a contrasting jersey. And I said, let's go with another team that's already qualified for the World Cup. My 2013 US centenary jersey. Um, I've said it many times, this is my perfect US jersey in many ways. But we're not talking about the US jersey. We talk about this Argentina jersey that was worn from 2015 to 2017 and most prominently in the match against the US where they I think it was a 6-0 beatdown in the Copa America Centenario in 2016 I think it was a 6-0 destruction of the US not wearing this jersey in a way but it was a sign for the US to come in any case there exists a on my channel, you know, I before I started after World Cup, I think around 2014-15, I also started a few videos. You don't see me in there, but I was actually reviewing jerseys. And this was one jersey that I reviewed and I gave it a super high rating. I think 10 out of 10. Because at the time, when you saw the jersey, it had a very dark navy tone and I absolutely loved it. So much so that I went, uh, you know, I saw the leaks and I saw them on the store. And it, I was never sure what color is it. And I said, okay, let's take a chance. I need another Argentina weight jersey because the only one that I had was the fake Messi 2006 jersey. So I really wanted to get another one. And what really got me is, you know, this little, it's not entirely a flag trim because there's another light blue missing, but I really liked uh, this feature here. I thought it's a very pleasant uh, shade overall. That would have been because I thought it's this shade. Turns out it's a much lighter Delio blue now still it is not a bad shirt at all but uh if you watch my conversation with idris um we both agree while i really love this adidas template it's a little bit naked to be honest i think they could have done a tad bit more with it i actually will say um two things that i would uh improve is a no three stripes, you make your flag straps. I think that would uh, give it a little bit more, more uh, to look at. Also, uh, I'm kind of okay with having the collar uh, this way, but you know, if you have already this uh, darker blue sleeve cuffs, why don't you double it up on the collar? Or if you have the bottom here, why don't you do something up here too? And you know, most of the 15 uh, released jerseys, they had this uh, kind of weird, um, pattern with the there was the cloth all with the little uh, dot holes in there i think that could have also made this uh, a little bit more interesting to look at however i really got this because i want to get a dark blue jersey now it's not exactly the blue that i wanted uh perfectly it would be in this blue i think if you swap out the colors you're onto something here if you swap out the colors and then instead of this color on the sleeve cuffs copy this one i think we have an all-time classic so at this moment if I would have known that this is the actual color, I would have given it an 8 star. Maybe even 7 or something like, like a not a 10 out of 10. But it's a really, really nice Argentina away jersey. Uh, I really like this little uh, tag here. I mean, it's probably hard to read, but Argentina, Somos Todos, I think it says. Somos Todos. <laughs> My Spanish is really not good. So uh, that's what it says here. I left it blank, of course, uh, there's a messy. You can see I've worn it a lot because there's quite a few little pulls. So this, uh, despite me not really uh, being that much on board with it when I got it, I have tried to say this was probably one of the first jerseys when I unpacked it, that I was kind of, yeah, yeah. And funny thing, uh, around the same time, I think Milan also released uh, their home jersey, which had a little bit darker red than I wanted. But at that point, I already had realized that. Um, but, you know, there was a certain yeah, feeling uh, for this shirt when I got it. But I actually still wore the heck out of it. And I still do like it a lot. What I really like is that un unlike the Argentinian jersey that's up there that was worn at the uh, 14 World Cup, 
they actually made the crest really really nice here um you know you get it in a nice shield um it's very shiny it's not this kind of star wars um scroll thing you know with this shield that goes a little bit um thicker so uh, i actually do like this very very much although i find it also a tad small given how big crests these days are this is kind of small um for argentina itself this was a rather successful except uh, you didn't win anything but you know the award is for uh, two Copa Americas in both of them they made it to the final uh, they did quite well uh, over in both of these of course they should have won both of these but in both cases Chile just got the better of them but yeah my first proper Argentina wager uh, jersey I think the uh, this um, you know besides me really feeling very free of wearing this one actually enjoying wearing this one i think the best thing i can say about this otherwise is that this really made me now um want them to get a proper argentina way jersey meaning in this really dark blue tone here which is something that i meanwhile have i even have the best version of it but that will be for another video in any case please let, let me know what you think about this jersey uh give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and i will talk to you soon Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.